Tonight on Fox Sports News, Michael Bevan blazes Australia to an amazing victory over the Kiwis. Bevan's on New York. Have a look at that one. That's one bounce and over the line for four. Finally, another Aussie makes the grid in Formula One. There's been a lot of peaks and troughs along the way, but uh, to finally realise my dream is a uh, huge personal satisfaction for myself. Greg Norman will hone his skills at the Heineken, but he has Augusta on his mind. I got out there and dusted off the club and started playing because I got very excited about getting back there again. And despite the angst in Argentina, our Australian Davis Cup team heads to South America tomorrow. Look, I'd be foolhardy to say we, we, that we go with some trepidation, but knowing, and I've got a lot of correspondence from Tennis Australia, Department of Foreign Affairs, back uh, to the ITF, you know, back to the, the embassy in Argentina, and I think Tennis Australia have done everything they possibly can to, to ensure the safety of their players. Good evening, I'm Caroline Searcy. This is the late edition of Fox Sports News. Australia is back in the race for a spot in the one-day series final and they can thank the man tagged the best limited overs batsman in the world, Michael Bevan, after the Aussies pulled off a remarkable victory over New Zealand tonight at the MCG. Set 246 runs after Chris Cairn, Stephen Fleming and Chris Harris all chipped in for the Kiwis. The Aussies were reeling at 6 for 82, but a century by Bevan, who combined with Shane Warne first and then Brett Lee and Andy Andy Bickle steered Australia to an amazing win with just three balls to spare. Double bonus for New Zealand.